Hey, what's up guys, Josh here. Um, today we're gonna finish off the last of three macronutrients and talk about fats. We go through, talk about it a little bit and um, kind of uh, the importance of it is, um, the functions it does in your body, how much should you eat, how do you figure that out, um, all that fun stuff. So we're gonna start off, and I'm just gonna let you know, fat is another one of your macronutrients. You have carbs, fats, and proteins. Now fat, unlike carbs and proteins, that it's actually nine calories per gram. So, I mean, that's a lot more than carbs and protein, which are only four. If you have 10 grams of fat, you're gonna have 90 calories worth of pure fat, which is great if you're trying to count calories and get as many as you can, but if you're trying to uh, kick back on the calories, not, that necessarily isn't your best friend. Now you wanna figure out like, okay, if, Got all the calories now, why is it important to me? Like, how does it help me? Fat is really important for your cells and they, it helps build mem the membrane around the cells, it helps build that. So your body's like, whoa, I kinda need these. Um, second of all, it helps your brain, like along with the membrane around your brain as well. One of the other things it does with the brain that's really cool is, um, if you don't eat a lot of fat, you may feel lethargic or kind of things compute a little bit slower. You're not as sharp and quick-witted if you're cutting down on f or not eating very much fat. And that's because um, the things that, the nerves that help transport messages from your brain to your body, um, it's called myelin and fat helps strengthen this. And that makes these messages faster. And you're keeping a healthy amount of fat in your diet. You're keeping your body and your mind in optimum running condition. Um, another thing that the fat help does is it helps transport vitamins. You know, you're like your A, your D, your E, your. It helps them transport throughout the body. Fat, uh, fat, and hormones go hand in hand. When you're looking at hormones and fat, what it does is. The more fat you have, the better the production of hormones and the uh, normal production of these hormones. And so what happens is when you are lacking fat, your hormones get all crazy or they just aren't there, which is a lot of times why bodybuilders or fitness models or anybody like that, when they're prepping for a show or a shoot, their lumbido might be like, woo, way, way, way down. Or if you see a lot of girls or guys um, that have absolutely no body fat, a lot of times they'll hit puberty a lot later on. The last thing that's kind of uh, nice that fat does is it helps insulate and builds the insulation for our organs. Now you wanna know, how do I figure this out? Like, how much should I be eating? Well, the sad part is that's really different for everybody, you know, like almost anything about nutrition. Um, the easiest thing that I do um, for clients or for myself is take 0.4, like 0 0.40 and times that number by your pound, your body weight in pounds. So for example, I am 180 pounds and so I will take 0.4 times 180 and that gives me 72. So I am right, currently right now I'm eating 72 grams of fat per day. And you can mess with that a little bit. Um, it's a great starting point. Mess with it a little bit to see kind of how it helps in your diet or how you look, how you feel, and just regulate it from what co feels comfortable. But again, starting with that 0 0.40 times your body weight is a great starting point. Fats don't make you fat. They're actually a necessity for help burning fat. I mean, as we learned earlier, there's tons of important things that fat does for your body. So they're by no means do you want to be hardcore restricting this from your diet? Um, that's about it for fats. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment. I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks. Have a great, blessed day.